Hi guys and welcome to another kit review. So today we're having a look at a kit from AFB Club in 132 scale. Uh, the kit number is AF35125 and it is a 60 centimeter Flak Shrine Werfer, it's basically Flak SW36 MIT SDAH51. So 60 centimeter searchlight with a trailer. That's basically what that said. Okay, so AFV Club, I've built some of their kits before. Really nice detail. Can be a little fiddly, but really nice detail. Anyway, so let's have a look at the box first. On the side, there you go. That's their address. It's basically Hobby Fan Trading Company in uh, Taiwan. Okay. Usual 14 plus warnings. No glue, paint included, etc. etc. Don't cut yourself, don't glue yourself. On the other side, we've got Stone Tiger SDK of Z25120, the searchlight on it, Uhu, which basically means owl. Another Luftwaffe 25117 with the flat gun on it. Okay, so that's other AFV club kits. And on the back, you've got the colours for this basic colours I should say for the searchlight overall dark grey overall dark yellow this one is dark grey with white splotches camouflage so basically I guess for um, winter all right so there you have it not much colouring in this let's have a look in the box and see what we've got and opening box and not very big little tiny thing okay so you've got photo etch this is the main body of the searchlight naturally enough clear lenses for the searchlight some small parts and this looks like the trailer wheels and some more parts for the searchlight which is basically the searchlight base so two bags of sprues plus the instructions okay so no decals in this because they didn't have any all right so let's have a look at the instructions okay fairly straightforward build the body first clear parts reflector this will be the tricky part okay so the tricky part is putting the veins on the front of the searchlight okay so the veins are basically open closed and protect the searchlight during um i was going to say off peak but when it's not in use okay so then we get to searchlight um parts connectors etc this is basically where the power supply was connected to the searchlight so there's a lot of small fiddly parts as i said it's an afb club really nice kits lots of detail but this being a small pit small kit i should say there are a lot of fiddly small parts so um read the instructions first and make sure you've got the right part okay i'd be hesitant to say moderate to experienced modeler to uh, build this kit just because of the small parts and the photo etch but if you take your time patience and care shouldn't have a problem anyway okay so basically five is the uh, finishing off the searchlight bits and pieces and also the swivel mount and then we come to seat for the operator the base plus some more parts which are just basically the controls um, up down sideways okay handles etc for the base and then the triangular base so there's a lot to this small kit small parts very intricate and very detailed and I like that I really like that and then you get to the trailer uh, base okay 
So there's actually two photos here, not very clear, of the real thing. So that completes the searchlight. That's searchlight cover. And this is the searchlight in, um, I guess, trailer mode. Okay. And then you've got the trailer. Wheels, fittings for the trailer, suspension, etc. And that's it. It doesn't look like much, but we'll have a look at the sprues in a second and you'll be able to tell exactly how many bits and pieces this actually has. So, bear with me while I take these out of the bags. Okay, so welcome back. All right, so first we'll have a look at the photo etch. Okay, so, and naturally enough, I will give you stills of all this anyway. So that's the photo etch. These are the front vanes for the searchlight. And these are just small parts and very fine parts, okay, for the um, fittings on the searchlight itself. So they're very tiny, very, very tiny. So that, like I said, um, extreme care when you're dealing with the photo etch. So that's those, that's the photo etch. Next. Photo etch. Next, we'll have a look at the clear parts, which is most important. And they look really clear, like really beautiful and really sharp. Okay, so that's the main searchlight lenses. And from what I can see, they look nice. Like I said, really clear, really sharp. There's lots of other bits and pieces on here, which are also clear parts, but I figure that they're actually um, gauges and fittings on the body. So most of those will be painted at some stage with probably a little bit of clear showing through. Okay, so I'll give you a still of that in a second. Okay, so let's have a look at the searchlight. First brew. Okay, there's your first brew. I hate to say it, but they are going to be a nightmare. They are little tiny wing nuts. All right, I don't know if you can see, they're little tiny wing nuts. And they are going to be a nightmare to get off and not lose. But like I said, AFV Club, look at the detail. The wiring detail. All right, it's very fine detail on this, including bolt detail, etc. It's really, really nice. Okay, so I will give you stills of this anyway. So that's the body. Of the search line. Then you've got then you've got the next brew, which is the base, okay. Of the searchlight again beautiful detail very fine very sharp I can't see any flash although a little bit of flash there so there is flash on it but not much but some extremely fine pieces to take off especially this without breaking it okay so Nice detail though, really sharp. Not much on the other side. Little bit of detail up here, 
Okay, but yes, like I said, have a look at it. Some very, very fine detail. All right, so that is the base of the searchlight. Now, this part here was floating loose. Okay, this is part of the searchlight as well. And it has some really nice detail inside. Alright, so oh, that went out of focus. Okay, so that's a loose part. That's part of. That's part of the searchlight. And then, of course, we get to the last route, which is the trailer. Again, the very fine details, very fine handles. Okay, very thin. Tires are beautiful. Love the way they've done the tread. Okay, the trailer itself. Yep, so you can't fault them on their detail. The springs are nice and crisp and clear. And like I said, there is not much uh, flash. However, the problem comes when you've got a handle like that and a massive connection to the sprue. That's when they break. So, um, yeah, moderate to experience for this one, I think. Otherwise, you're just going to get frustrated especially with those little wing nuts, and uh, you'll give up. Anyway. These things. Okay. I think. Yep. That's it. Not much to it. Four sprues. And some photo etch okay it is a small kit all right you remember this is 35th scale so you're gonna have a soldier sitting here that shows you how big this thing is um, in fact where's my French officer there we go so let's put him aside for a second there we are that is a 35th scale French officer compared to the body of the searchlight. Okay, that's a reasonable comparison. Anyway, it is quite complex, but I love it. The detail is beautiful. So, anyway, enough of me waffling. That brings us to the end of this review. I hope you've got something from it because um, this is quite a nice kit. So, as usual, until next time, take it easy. See you later.